hey guys welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how to do double click on any web application this is not the normal uh, way of doing like uh, double click right? it's, it's uh, occasionally sometimes it happens we have to do double click on any web element and we have to automate this uh, double click on our web application right let's see what is actually uh, double click in web application right so if there is any web element right if you do uh, double click it some some actions will be uh, sequent uh, subsequent uh, operations will be performed say for example if you're uh, double click on any uh, web element right it's like this uh, nothing will happen but if there is intentional uh, something happened for double click right so we have that subsequent actions will be there say for example if you are clicking on a single click nothing will happen but if you do double click on this you can see over here that subsequent actions is performed that is you have done double click on this but if you are doing other uh, uh, buttons right operations clicking operations or something like that nothing will happen double click so only when you are clicking on the particular web element that intentionally done for double click and do some action then we have to go for double click right so uh, let's see how we can do uh, programming in uh, selenium web driver so selenium web driver will not directly support the double click so selenium web driver supports directly only the normal click operations but it will never support your uh, double click so instead what selenium has done so selenium is giving you the uh, alternative way of doing your double click using your actions class so actions class will give you the method called double click so which is overloaded so we have two different methods uh, in actions class so which will be overloaded one is plainly like uh, how we have done double click so uh, and then we the second one is uh, double click on the particular web element so these two methods are same but there's a slight difference in uh, doing the operations right let us see how we can perform this double click right so so this double click will be uh, uh, methods will be given by the actions class from the selenium web driver so let us declare actions class first and then we'll uh, do double click on that so actions class new actions so here we have to take the driver this is the driver we have to pass it on to your actions class so on this particular actions class so this actions class reference will give you the double click operation so as we have already discussed right this gives you the two different methods so the first method the double click will what this will do without any uh, taking perform um, uh, actions on double click right so this will do a double click on the wherever the currently that mouse is pointing to perform double click at that current mouse location wherever it is pointing to it directly do the uh, double click so right so what we have to do right to, to avoid directly doing that uh, uh, do operation double click on any location we have to point in the particular web element so for that what actions class giving you right move to element method that it gives move to element what is the element we wanted to move this is a double click me button so i have already uh, taken the idea of that web element give it over here so first what this will do this will move to this particular web element and then you can do double click on that so now your mouse is currently pointing to that particular web element and then it will do double click on that so and then we have to do build dot perform okay so please don't forget to give this a uh, build and perform if you have not given this it will not do anything it simply will wait and it will close the uh, your browser right you will not get any uh, exception but it will not do any uh, actions as well right so after that what we can do we can uh, take this particular uh, double click text and then print it this is you have done double click let's reload and take that again sometimes it will give you a stale element reference exception if you are taking the wrong one double click it will give you the paragraph element which is and uh, this id this is the id and paragraph element so let's directly take it using the id let and let us print this uh, driver dot find element by id let us take using id and then dot get text so what this will sorry get text not get attribute this is going to be a get 
text method so what this will do this will fetch the uh, web elements of this one and it will print this you have done a double click text on your console so this is the first way of doing your uh, double click what is the second way is you can do the same but the way we do is that is different so we don't have to do, move to the element right we this perform action this move to element action is not required what instead what we can do we can give this uh, particular web element uh, to your uh, as an argument to your double click method now it will do the same operation right so these are the two different ways that we can do using uh, actions class or double click right let us wait and uh, let's uh, uh, run and see what will happen the actions so let us wait for three seconds here and then just wait over here as well here let us wait for two seconds so that we can clearly see the text uh, what is happening in the screen right let's try running and uh, see the action how it will be done double click so it is launching the browser and url waits until it complete page loads and then waiting for three seconds and do double click right it has done the double click and text is displayed right so and then again it is doing the double click using our other method and it is doing the perform actions right you can see over here two times it is uh, performing the actions right let us see one by one now let's uh, comment this part and then see only the first one so that it is uh, clear for us to visible uh, see that action Now what will do it will do only uh, first time only once it will do and then it will close the browser wait for three seconds and clicking a double click uh, me button double click me button it will be clicked and it, the text is displayed and it will close the browser so this will be done using the first uh, way of doing it using new element and double click All right now let's comment this part and then do the second way of uh, doing the double click let's uncomment this and uh, see how it will be done using overloader method called double click it's opening the browser and url for three seconds and page to be completely loaded and then it will do the double click me button using, yes it is clicked and it text is displayed and closed so using this get get text method it is printing the uh you have done a double click text right so this is how we have to do double click on any web element on your web application so there are two different ways to click on this so if one is not working you can go for another alternatives right but selenium directly will not support your double click method you have to use your actions class right that's all from this video guys if you love watching my video please like my video if you have not subscribed to my channel already please do subscribe to my channel